Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome two of tonight's Emmy nominees, Kate McKinnon and Kenan Thompson. Ah, yes. Good evening. And welcome to the 70th Primetime Emmy Awards. Yes. <laughs> Tonight is a celebration of the hard work and the talent of everyone in this room. That's right. We're also celebrating the fact that this year's Emmy Awards has the most diverse group of nominees in Emmy history. <laughs> yes, indeedy. One step closer to a black Sheldon. That's right. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say it. We solved it. What do you, seriously? Wait, so diversity is not a problem in Hollywood anymore? Nope, we solved it. Wow. Well, that is wonderful news. We solved it. We've gotten with the times. There's room for all our voices, but mostly Shonda Rhimes. Yo, welcome Asian people, we gave you that one show. And who can forget the amazing Sandra O? Oh. Sandra O oh is the first Asian woman to be nominated for a lead actress Emmy ever. Thank you. Thank you, but it's an honor just to be Asian. You see, there were none. Now there's one. And so, we're done. Congratulations all around and do us all a favor and pat yourself on the back. But don't touch your neighbor. <laughs> oh, what? What did I do? He likes it. <laughs> Have you heard the news? Yes, my agent just told me. We solved it, banished every creep who broke the law. And now they're serving hard time at that Arizona spa. Yeah, we solved it. Come on. Won't cut them in his slack. They've been away nine more months. Now let them all come back. Titus. Sorry, it rhymes. Okay. Hey. Oh, it's good. Oh. Look at us. We're all different in the same way. We solved it. This room is so diverse. From Democrat to liberal Democrat, you can't sing another verse. <laughs> guys, guys. Oh my you God, gotta stop. You gotta stop. Oh my God. Oh my God. You haven't solved it. This song is way too white. One, two, three, four. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We solved it, we fixed it, we simply unmixed it. And as for politics, we know exactly where we stand. With Roseanne. No. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Did something happen? But what about me? Is there any room in this song for a straight white guy like me? Was that scary? It was so scary. Because <laughs> that seemed like so I am. Yeah, it was not oh. my favorite. It's like, plummet to your death on national TV much? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can't be a part of that. Yeah, sounds good. Have fun, you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, checking every box, please welcome the one of each dancers. <laughs> Mr. Thompson, oh. phone call. Oh. oh, phone call for me. Well, wow, thank you very much. Hey, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, hello? Oh, we did not solve it. I see. Long way to go. Okay. Cart before the horse? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, very good. Spiking the ball at the 50-yard line? Yeah, sure, that, that's right, that's right. Well, I appreciate your call. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rue. Wait, hold up. Y'all call me up here for one line in a stupid skit? It's okay. Just take your seat, please. Y'all ain't right. I, I know. We're sorry. Thank you. 
That's good. Bad time. All right, come on, everybody. We got a show to do. Please welcome Mr. John Legend. This song is too much for you and me and me. This all world through the magic of TV. We saw this. We saw this. We saw this. Welcome your hosts, Colin Jost and Michael Che. Whoa! Good evening. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the 70th Primetime Emmy Awards. I'm Colin Jost. I'm Michael Che. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. You know, it is an honor to be here sharing this night with the many, many talented and creative people in Hollywood who haven't been caught yet. That's right. This year, this year, the audience is allowed to drink in their seats. Mm -hmm. Hope you're excited about that. Yeah, because the one thing Hollywood needs right now is people losing their inhibitions at a work function. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We just want to say a quick hello to the thousands of you here in the audience tonight and to the hundreds watching at home. <laughs> Hi, Silver Lining Senior Center. You know who's not watching? My mother's not watching. What? Well, she said she doesn't like watching white award shows because you guys don't thank Jesus enough. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the only people, the only white people that thank Jesus are Republicans and ex-crackheads, so. I don't know if you know this, the first Emmys were held back in 1949. Things were very different back then. Gas was 17 cents a gallon. Mm -hmm. A new home cost $7,000. And we all agreed that Nazis were bad. Mm, yeah, yeah, most of us, most of us. In fact, actually, Colin, you're like this. Our network, NBC, has the most nominations of any broadcast network. That's right. Which yeah. Great. Yeah. Which is kind of like being the sexiest person on life support. <laughs> it's, it's not great. Still not looking great. Not great. Still not not great good. for you no. guys. No. Netflix, of course, has the most nominations tonight. That's right. That's right, and if you're a network executive, that's the scariest thing you can possibly hear. Except maybe Sir Ronan Farrow is on line one. <laughs> yeah. You don't want that call. No, no you, you don't. don't. Want that call. No, you don't. Of course, there are so many incredible nominees here tonight. That's incredible true. nominees. Blackish is nominated. That's right. People of Blackish. Blackish. Mm -hmm. Blackish is also how I've been asked to behave tonight, so. <laughs> See how that goes. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> One of our favorite shows, This Is Us, is nominated for Best Drama tonight. That's right. That's right. Milo is here. He plays Jack on the show. That's the next season of This Is Us will explore Jack's experiences in Vietnam. Uh, this was in response to viewers who wrote in and said, Sadder, please. <laughs> That's true. Speaking of sad, The Handmaid's Tale is nominated. That's right. Yes. The best yeah. I don't know if you've seen it, but The Handmaid's Tale takes place in an imaginary future where an entire group of people are violently forced to work and make babies against their will. It's what black people call history. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's roots for white women. Yeah. That's what it is. Of course. It's roots with bonnets. That's, That's right. what it is. Roots with bonnets. There were several dramatic rescues for TV shows this summer. Uh -huh. Brooklyn Nine-Nine was canceled by Fox, but picked up by NBC. That's good, that's good. Okay. Last Man Standing was canceled by ABC and then picked up by Fox. That's right. Which is great. That's right. Yeah. 
And Roseanne was canceled by herself, <laughs> but picked up by white nationalists. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. She, she's had a rough year. Yeah, I would no, that's tough. You know, I heard Roseanne is actually moving to Israel. Wow. I mean, damn. How messed up is your life when you have to go to the Middle East just to get peace of mind? <laughs> By the way, congratulations to Lori Metcalf. Yeah. Yes, please. I mean, wow. That's incredible. You know how great an actress you have to be to get nominated for Roseanne now? That's like nominating a cop for a BET award. It doesn't happen. It would it'd be weird. And uh, television obviously has more choices than ever before. This year, Netflix will spend $8 billion on programming. Wow. They now have 700 original series, <laughs> which makes me realize, it just makes me realize that the show I pitched them must have really sucked. <laughs> yes, it did. I mean, it's like being turned down for a CVS rewards card. <laughs> Also, while you guys are here, how is Netflix getting all that money? It's like $9 a month, and everybody I know is sharing the same account. <laughs> Netflix is like that Instagram model that's always in Dubai, and you're like, yeah, but what do you really do? <laughs> yeah. this, the Obamas now even have their own production deal at Netflix. Mm -hmm. And my dream is that the only thing they produce is their own version of The Apprentice. <laughs> That'd be nice. And it gets way higher ratings. <laughs> Things are getting better, but as we all know, TV has always had a diversity problem, you know? I mean, can you believe they did 15 seasons of ER without one Filipino nurse? That's crazy. That's just crazy. Have you been to a hospital? That's crazy. <laughs> Even on a great show like Cheers. I mean, Cheers, I love Cheers, but you're telling me they made a show about an all-white sports bar in 1980s Boston, and not one black dude walked in, saw everybody, then walked right back out immediately? <laughs> I would've. I would've. I would've certainly. There's even more diversity coming to TV. There's a Latino Magnum P.I. Uh, there's gonna be a black Samantha in a reboot of Bewitched. Mm. But it's gonna get balanced out. It's gonna get balanced out by an all-white reboot of Atlanta <laughs> called 15 Miles Outside of Atlanta. That's good. And it focuses, that. it focuses on <laughs> white women who call the police on the cast of Atlanta. Well, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but TV has come a long way in the past 70 years, I think that's what you're trying to say, right, That's Colin? right, yes. that's right. And with the amazing contributions from everyone in this room tonight, I think we can keep television going for another five, six years tops. Tops. <laughs> but let's have fun tonight. Let's start giving out some I'll trophies. Yes. You guys excited? We're all here. Here are the nominees for supporting actor in a comedy series. Woo. Son, I was threatening to quit back when I was in diapers. It was for an adult diapers commercial, and I was fired. Ronald Reagan. Don't juggle him. <laughs> you yeah. some white people around, huh? Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't get to be happy until I can get to my piano. Oh, my God. How did you do that? I can show you. It's a teachable skill. I said I was going to run this country like a business. That business is a Waffle House at 2 a.m. I left because of the crime situation. I committed a bunch of crimes, and it became a situation. And now to present the award for supporting actor in a comedy series, please welcome Claire Foy and Matt Smith. Good evening. I hope you all have a marvelous time. Um, we we are thrilled to to present the first award of the night. And if we don't sound thrilled, that's just because we're very, very British. Very true. <laughs> and the Emmy goes to? Henry Winkler.
Yeah. Okay. I only have 37 seconds. I wrote this 43 years ago. Okay. All right. Can I just say, Skip Brittenham said to me a long time ago, if you stay at the table long enough, the chips come to you. And tonight, I got to clear the table. If you get a chance to work with Bill Hader or Alec Berg, run, don't walk. Thank you for producing us, for creating us, for directing us, and, and for um, Bill for acting with us and all of our wonderful writers, Sherry Thompson and uh, wonderful Sharon, Sherry Goldberg, an extraordinary publicist, uh, uh, Cliff and Aaron and Chris, who represent me for, almost for the first time. I feel represented. I can't stop yet. My wife, Stacy. Oh my God, my cast and crew. And, and the kids, kids, Jed, Zoe, and Max, you can go to bed now. Daddy won! Coming up next, Jimmy Kimmel and Tracy Morgan, Millie Bobby Brown, Amelia Clark, Andy Samberg, and Sandra O. Oh. The Emmys, live on NBC. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> Tonight, we're starting with the Comedy Awards. That's right. Uh, if you haven't been watching TV lately, a comedy is just a drama that's 30 minutes long. <laughs> Here are the nominees for Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. Sorry I'm late, but I got here as soon as I wanted to. Buena noche, mama. Folks, listen to me, because I'm no nonsense, but I'm all nonsense. I'm Liberty Bell, the American hero. I'm a perfect 10, and you're a zero. There's nobody here. They're all dancing. Oh, my God. I was he here the whole time? You bombed. You took out Antwerp. I bombed? People were asking for directions to a fallout shelter. You bombed. And they were making a sound the whole time, like... Nobody kicks Omarosa out the White House. Hey, get away from the window right now. To present the award for supporting actress in a comedy series, please welcome Jimmy Kimmel and Tracy Morgan. Thank you. Let's have a hand for uh, Michael and Colin. Uh, weren't they very funny? This I thought they were great. And this is what they're going to look like in 30 years. Now, I know I speak for you, Tracy, when uh, we, we say we are delighted this year to have such a diverse collection of talented supporting actress nominees, each of whom is very deserving of an Emmy Award. Uh, I'm only rooting for the black people. <laughs> what he's saying is, is in this category, it's, in particular, it's hard to, know, to even know who to root for because there are so many great people. Uh, well, I'm rooting for Leslie Jones, Zazia Beats, and Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown is in, uh, she's, not, she's not black and she's not nominated in this category. Well, then she's uninvited to the cookout. There's a cookout? You didn't hear that from me. Okay. The Emmy for Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series goes to... Alex Bornstein. Alex Bornstein. Come on I went without the bra. Uh, what a platform. Uh, ladies, when you use a public restroom, sit down. If you sit, we can all sit. Stop peeing on the seat. I want to thank everyone at Amazon. I want to thank Amy Sherman Palladino. You are my friend. I love you and I hate you. 
I want to thank the writers, the entire cast. You're amazing. The crew, the crew, the crew. You do everything. We see you. Uh, my family, Anyukam, Nadjan Seretlek, you are our everything. My father, you are the only man who has ever truly loved or taken care of me. Thank you for that. Um, my brothers, my Lala, life is possible with you. Mi um, Morena, and my children. My children, you are everything. This is all fun. This is wonderful, but none of this matters. You matter. I love you. Thank you for giving me a life, and I'm going to try to be there for more of it. And now, here are the nominees for Outstanding Writing for a Comedy Series. I, I would say nice to meet you, but I don't believe in time as a concept, so I'll just say we always met. I want to go out there and try to burn a guy and have him say, hey, there's the guy from the chicken commercial. I don't know if I do commercials. Did you ever think you were supposed to be something and, uh, and, and you suddenly realize you're not? Yes. Married. That's good. You're good. You should speak to your husband so we can get paid. No, I will call my husband yeah. and then the police. Well, do it then, beige lady. I was doing Long Day's Journey in tonight at the Pasadena Playhouse with a bunch of cokeheads. It's usually about a three-hour play. We could bring it in just under 37 minutes. They're attacking us. It's a 51% attack. Has to be. I'm sorry, what? A 51%? Presenting this writing award are Millie Bobby Brown and Amelia Clark. is nothing without a writer. At least that's what a writer told me. Tonight, we are happy to announce that the comedy writing category, once dominated by white male nerds, now boasts more female and diverse nerds than ever before. The Emmy for writing for a comedy series goes to... Amy Sherman Palladino. <laughs> I just want to say that right away. <laughs> Time's up, okay? Get rid of that. Um, Alex Borstein made me rip my tights, whatever. I'll get through this. Um, I just want to say my father uh, inspired this, weirdly. So I had to turn a six foot two Bronx Jew into Rachel Brosnahan. Uh, that's Hollywood. So um, I want to thank him, and I want to thank um, my husband, Daniel Palladino. You are the sit to my Nancy, mister. And, um, my cast, my cast, my cast, my cast. Uh, your graciousness, your hard work, your brilliance, and your endurance, and the fact that you graciously accept that sometimes it matters when you drop the ball. I thank you, I love you, goodbye. Here are the nominees for directing for a comedy series. Donald Glover, Atlanta, FUBU. Hiro Mirai. Atlanta, Teddy Perkins. Bill Hader, Barry, Chapter One, Make Your Mark. Mark Sandrowski, The Big Bang Theory, The Bowtie Asymmetry. Jesse Peretz, Glow, Pilot. Amy Sherman Palladino, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, Pilot. Mike Judge, Silicon Valley, Initial Coin Offering. <laughs> To present this directing award, here are Sandra O oh and Andy Samberg. Good evening. We were supposed to come out here and read the winner, but instead, I've decided to speak from the heart. What? Why'd you rip the envelope? I don't know. I was in the moment. I got overwhelmed. Now, how are we going to know who the winner is? Oh, my God, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, should we just make it up? No, I don't think we can do that. The winner is La La Land. No, don't say that. <laughs> Anything but that. Just give me the sides. Jeremy Park. What, who's Jeremy Park? A guy I dated in high school. You think he won the award for directing a comedy? Well, we lost touch. I mean, he could be doing anything. All right, give me that. I miss you, Jeremy. Come on. 
And the Emmy for directing a comedy series goes to Amy Sherman Palladino. <laughs> Um, okay, it takes a giant village full of uh, union crew members to make sure that Maisel goes out on the streets of New York and takes your parking spaces away from you. So to my crew, my crew, my crew, you are my everything. I worship you. To David Mullen, the DP, Professor Mullen, the DP from the gods. To Mariella Comatini, girlfriend, best AD in the world, you are next. To Dana Gilbert. What can I say? You make it all happen. Um, and I have to say once again, Daniel Palladino, my consigliere, my everything. I love you to death. My actors, God love you. You don't flinch when I say it's a six page wonder. I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you and goodbye. Up next, Tiffany Haddish, Angela Bassett, and Michael Douglas. Plus the awards for lead actor and actress in a comedy. The Emmys, live on NBC. Our next award is for lead actress in a comedy series. Here are the nominees. At this rate, husband Adam will only be hockey games, ball scratches, and farts. Figure out what I'm going to do for my mom. Uh, put her down, two to the back of the head, double tap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I love how we can joke about this. Could I, um, get some water? Yeah, sure, that's really vodka. What card? I don't see a card. My name is Mrs. Maisel. Thank you and good night. To reveal the winner, please welcome Angela Bassett and this year's winner for guest actress in a comedy series, Tiffany Haddish. It is a pleasure to present this award among such a talented group of women. Yes, so many exceptional actresses. Well, you've had quite the exceptional year yourself, Tiffany. I have, yeah. I have. Night nice school, September 28th. Uh, <laughs> but I'm standing here with Angela Bassey. Oh. Royalty, royalty. <laughs> Yes, and now, let's get down to business. Okay, let's do it. She ready. The Emmy for lead actress in a comedy series goes to... Rachel... Rashnahan. Rashnahan. The marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Um, wow, uh, thank you guys so much. Um, hi. <laughs> um, uh, okay, um, thank you to our brilliant writers and creators, Amy Sherman Palladino and Dan Palladino. I'll be thanking you for the rest of my life for trusting me with your midge. Um, thank you to all of our producers, to our team at Amazon, to, to Jeff and Jen and Mark and Ken and Albert and Donna. And thank you to our incredible cast and our cast, 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 and our earth-shatteringly talented crew. This is insane. Thank you to my team at CAA and Ken Lee and Carol and Ted, my friends and my family. You are absolutely everything to me. Um, and, and one of the things I love the most about this show, while I have you captive for another two seconds, uh, is that it's about a woman who's finding her voice anew. And it's something that's happening all over the country right now. One of the most important ways that we can find and use our voices is to vote. So if if you haven't already registered, do it on your cell phone right now. Vote, show up, and bring a friend to the polls. Thank you so much. Our next award is for lead actor in a comedy series. Here are the nominees. I'm stress eating and I'm gaining weight in my thighs. I mean, look at that. Blah, 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 blah. Coffees 
for closers only. You call yourself a salesman? You son of a bitch. What y'all do last night? With the edge of the... Oh, so well. Yeah, I know. I was joking. You're like the old clothes rich people donate to Goodwill. Something they don't need, but they can pat themselves on the back for anyway. I'm rich! It's enough already. You, I can't hear a thing. <laughs> Shut up. To present the award for lead actor in a comedy series, please welcome Michael Douglas. So, um, so I've won a few awards in my career, but I've lost a hell of a lot more. And um, so I want to give some advice to the losers. Carry that rage. <laughs> Let it fuel everything you do from this night forward. Know, know that you were cheated. You were robbed. That's a fact. Let that fire burn in your belly until your cold, dead body is in a pine box six feet deep, clutching all its Emmys to its chest. <laughs> and the award for lead actor in a comedy series is Bill Hader Barry. <laughs> think this is gonna happen um, um, okay so uh, yeah I took classes at Second City LA nothing um, but uh, I, I was taught there that um, you should always make uh, the other people look good and uh, so what I did was I hired a bunch of really great actors that made me look really good so I, I share this with the the cast Henry Winkler um, Stephen Root um, Sarah Goldberg um, Anthony Kerrigan um, I just Paula Newsom, I, 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 all of you, thank you so, so much. And uh, thank you, Alec Berg, thank you, HBO, and uh, uh, Hannah, Harper, Haley. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next, Bob Odenkirk, A.D. Bryant, Constance Wu, Kit Harrington, Chrissy Teigen, and John Legend. The Emmys on NBC. We're Hi. back. Thank Hello. You. I just want to say six awards, all white winners. Nobody thanked Jesus yet. No. <laughs> One white lady won twice and still didn't thank Jesus. <laughs> We're now into the limited series categories. That's right. A, a limited series is when a movie star reaches the limit on all of their credit cards, so they have to do television. <laughs> Cumberbatch knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> Get your money, man. <laughs> As you know, it's the Emmy's 70th anniversary, and we thought it would be fun to give you some interesting facts about television's rich history with the help of our good friends Maya Rudolph and Fred Armisen. So you guys know everything there is to know about the Emmys. OK. Sure. Great, <laughs> because there are so many nominees and so many categories. And we're going to be coming to you with a lot of questions tonight. You must have done research for weeks. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. So much research. Yeah. So much research. It was like, this is me normally. Ah, and this is me researching. Wow. So, so did you memorize it all, or do you have notes? We memorized it. We have it. notes. Yeah, we made, a, we made a note for ourselves to memorize it. <laughs> but, you know. 
Well, it sounds like you guys are very prepared. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad it sounds like it. <laughs> you know what? We're actually overprepared. Yeah, it's like dial it back. You know, it's like TMFI, too much fascinating information. Yeah, too much. <laughs> okay, well, when we have a question, we're gonna come looking for you guys. Uh, you better, little man. Uh, <laughs> Also, is there a, a smoothie place around here? Uh, Fred and Maya, everybody. <laughs> and now, here are the nominees for supporting actress in a limited series or movie. We lost our husbands and a few horses. We're still here. Silver's still here. And that means we still got choices. I don't believe in you or anyone. Not even myself. What do you want from me? I want everything. You have it all. I give you all. Find him. Catch him. But don't talk to me about what might or might not be going through his mind. Never accept drinks from strangers. <laughs> My daddy told me that. You've seen the nominees. Now to present the award, please welcome John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. Well, it has been an incredible week. Oh, my God, we get it. You won the EGOT. We get it. <laughs> Guys, don't encourage this behavior. I was talking about our anniversary. OK. Thank you, Jesus. That's for you, Michael. <laughs> That's for you. And the Emmy goes, too. Merritt Weber. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I really appreciate this, and I, I really hope that you don't mistake my fear right now for a lack of gratitude. Um, I'm so... I just wanted to say hello and congratulations to the... I, I came prepared and it's bombing already. Um, I wanted to be a grown-up about this, uh, but I wanted to say congratulations to the other nominees. It was, it's very much an honor to be counted among you tonight. It's a really lovely uh, thing. Um, there's a lot of people I want to thank, but... Uh, I, I think I'm going to try and do it in private. I just want to say that I'm still shocked that uh, you've made a space for me and that you made a space for Mary Agnes. Um, I love her and I still miss her and I um, hope she's well and I wish I could tell her about tonight. And thank you from the both of us um, so very much. Thank you so much. We wanted to take a quick break to check in with our Emmy experts, Fred and Maya, and see if they could answer some questions for us. Hey, guys, are, are you ready to give us some Emmy facts? Uh, yeah. Shoot. Great. Well, I've always wondered about the Emmy statue itself. Can you tell us something about its history? Oh, of course. Um, well, let's see. It's about this big. Well, actually, there's, there's an Emmy right next to you guys. Oh, this? Oh, this one? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. Well, we knew that. Uh, here she is. Yeah, there she is. The original Golden Girl. <laughs> that's right. And it's got a top, mm -hmm. and it's got a bottom. Yeah. And that's the history. You good? Oh, oh. All right. Well, let's try a different question. Why? <laughs> I've heard that the Emmy was actually modeled after the designer's wife. Okay, mm-hmm. Uh, yep, Mrs. Johnson. That's right. You good? Wait, hang on. <laughs> hang on. I've always wondered what she's holding. Who? Mrs. Johnson? Yes, the thing. What is, what is she holding? What is that? Oh, that? Oh, that. That's, um, that is her famous ball of ribbons. Right, and, and she's holding it up to the light yeah. to see if it's dirty. And it's not. Yay! Does it symbolize anything? You tell me. <laughs> you good? No, we're not. We're not good, but now it looks like we're out of time. Oh, oh no! no. Oh. 
<laughs> Fred and Maya, everyone. And now, here are the nominees for supporting actor in a limited series or movie. Is the brand of Versace braver than the men? To the loved ones of the victims of 9-11, your government failed you. Everything you gave me, the bars, the meals, the men, it means nothing. I want my life back. They know you're coming, stop! Was I pay to love him? Was I pay to love him? The land of the blade and the wrath. It's godless country. Now to present the award, please welcome Kid Harrington and Constance Wu. The performances of those nominees elevate our industry and our art and gave us hours and hours of compelling and captivating television. And the Emmy goes to... Jeff Daniels. Jeff Daniels. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, if you're going to do a Western, do it with Scott Frank. Um, thank you to Netflix for your support of artists, letting artists be artists. Eddie Blondes, Paul Martino have been with me since the late 40s. <laughs> Rogers and Colin, Alan Narob, Jen Curran, Michelle Schwartz. Brandon Clark, who trained me on a horse in Michigan. Felix Delgado, my driver. <laughs> Kathleen, my wife, my family. <laughs> Mark Warwick, my horse wrangler. <laughs> Little tip for you young actors, when they call and say, can you ride a horse, don't lie. <laughs> you will find on day one you're in the Kentucky Derby. I'd also, finally, like to thank my horse, <laughs> Apollo. He, um, he was Jeff Bridges' horse on True Grit, and I felt he was making unfair comparisons. <laughs> three times he threw me off the horse, three times. The third and last time I broke my wrist, literally broke my wrist. It was my left wrist. It's now officially healed. Thank you very much. These are the nominees for writing for a limited series, movie, or dramatic special. We had a future. Andrew. We had a future, David. Hey, did you forget your pencil? And then they'll be like, Actually, yeah. And I'll be like, oh, I have an extra one. And they'll be like, <laughs> and now it seems my twilight's come home and I didn't even hear it knocking. Today I will show you mercy. Great mercy train, Captain. Tomorrow, you should reconsider your amenability. What year is this? <laughs> Sir, care for a dessert. Care for it? How do you care for a dessert? Feed it? Visit it on Sundays? Those are the nominees. Now, to present the award, please welcome Amy Bryant and Bob Odenkirk. There it is. <laughs> the Emmy Awards began in 1949 with a brief reading of the nominees and winners. The entire show lasted 10 minutes. The audience was not impressed. They wanted it to be so much longer. That's right, Adie. So the next year, actors and actresses were forced to read charming patter between each um award. And suddenly, they had a hit. People loved the natural and very cool banter and hilarious segues. That's right, Adie. Speaking of hilarious segues, the Emmy goes to 
Oh. The Emmy goes to William Bridges and Charlie Brooker, USS Callister Black Mirror. <laughs> Um, what a delightful but horrifying out-of-body experience this is. Um, I need to, we need to thank uh, everyone at Netflix for being so supportive. Uh, Toby Haynes, our director, did a phenomenal job. Lou Sutton, our producer. Um, our incredible cast and crew. Uh, Annabelle Jones, co-showrunner, without whom none of this occurs. Uh, our families yes. and, our, and, our, and, and our wives. I have to thank my wife, Connie, down there. I'm and, Jules, th and Jules. And, and Jules, who went for a wee and came back just she in time. Back. And um, I need to thank my children, who, I don't know why, they're only four and six years old. It turns out they're not really into Black Mirror. Um, <laughs> yeah, my mum. Yeah, tiny ingrates. Um, oh, and I just want to acknowledge uh, a creative debt that this story in particular owes to uh, progressive US titans of sci-fi, Star Trek and The Twilight Zone. Thank you very much. Up next, Leslie Jones, RuPaul, James Corden, Larry David and Rachel Brosnahan. Plus the awards for lead actor and actress in a limited series. The Emmys on NBC. Welcome, Alec Baldwin and Kate McKinnon. The very first Emmy Awards were held at the Hollywood Athletic Club in 1949. Only 9% of Americans owned a television at the time, but the industry thought we've been on the air for a year. We should give ourselves some awards. You know, there are very few people who are around then that are still working in television today, and we are lucky to be joined by one of them tonight, the greatest of all time, Betty White. <laughs> Betty was nominated for the Emmy 24 times, and she won eight. And at 96 years old, she still thinks about all those Emmys she didn't win, and she's still bitter. Ladies and gentlemen, the incomparable Betty White. going to quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. I just, this is, this is very exciting. I thought, I thought the biggest, most exciting night I'd ever had, I'm talking to Lauren Michaels now, was the night that he, he gave, gave, gave me the, 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 an honor. But boy, you topped yourself tonight, Lauren. Oh. Thank you. You think I'm going to miss a chance when I get it? <laughs> oh. Believe me, this, this. It goes back to somebody. Somebody said something 
the other day about first lady of television. And I took it as a, as a big compliment. And then I <laughs> heard her talking to her daughter a little later, and she said, well, no, first lady, yeah, she, she's that old. She was the first one way, way back then. <laughs> Oh, but little did I dream then that I would be here. And it's, it's, it's incredible that I'm still in this business, that I'm still, and you are still putting up with me. No, I, I believe me. No, I'm, I'm thanking you. It's, it's incredible that you can, you can stay in a, in a career this long and still have people put up with you. <laughs> I wish they did that at home. <laughs> I, I want to thank Lorne Michaels for doing not only this tonight, but all the wonderful things he's done with me and, uh, no, for me. <laughs> And all I can say is, it's such a blessed business to be in. And how lucky can I be? And how much I say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Betty White. And now, here are the nominees for directing for a limited series, movie, or dramatic special. Ryan Murphy, The Assassination of Gianni Versace, American Crime Story, The Man Who Would Be Vogue. Scott Frank, Godless. David Laveau, Alex Rudzinski, Jesus Christ Superstar, Live in Concert. Craig Zisk, The Looming Tower, 9-11. Barry Levinson, Paterno. Edward Berger, Patrick Melrose. David Lynch, Twin Peaks. And to reveal the winner, please welcome James Corden. Hello, good evening. What about that, Betty White? Last night, she broke up a fight between Tom Arnold and Mark Burnett. <laughs> she never stops. Let's get it trending. Emmy's so white. Let's... So maybe... Without this next group of nominees, Darren Chris would just be wandering around South Beach aimlessly in a tank top. Benedict Cumberbatch wouldn't know which angle to turn his razor-sharp cheekbones, and John Legend would still be, well, let's be honest, flawless. <laughs> the Emmy goes to Ryan Murphy. So shocked. Thank you. Thank you to my guys, David and Logan and Forty. I want to thank um, Dana Walden and Peter Rice and Gary Newman and John Langraff and Joe Cohen and Brian Lord and Kevin Uvain. I would not be here without Brad Falchuk and Brad Simpson, and Nina Jacobson, and Alexis Martin Woodall, Tom Rob Smith, I definitely would not be here without your brilliant script. I want to thank my beautiful cast, Darren Chris, Penelope Cruz, Judith Light, Edgar, Ricky, Finn, Cody, 
And most of all, I just want to thank all the women in my life who've supported me from day one. Julia and Gwyneth and Sarah Paulson. I love you. And Angela Bassett and Kathy Bates. I do not deserve you. I work hard for you. I love you. I'm very shocked. Thank you so much. <laughs> Now, here are the nominees for lead actress in a limited series or movie. I just did it. And I don't know why. I am not a victim. I don't need you or anybody to call me a victim. Do it. Or you're going to be awful damn sick from a bullet in your chest. I never prayed for anything harder in my life than for my son to live. If you convict him now of first-degree murder, it will be his father's last act of terror. I am not crazy and I am not weak. You people are terrorizing my family and it stops now. To present the award, please welcome Leslie Jones and RuPaul. Leslie and I have something in common. Yes, uh, we both love the show RuPaul's Drag Race. That show is so fierce. Yes, That's why we've given all the nominees a drag name, like Sir Lady Alec Baldwin. Oh, I like that. That's cute. <laughs> Miss Zaza Leguzamo. Yes. Anthony the Tuck Anderson. Oh, that's a good name. Uh -huh. I like that. And Sandra, oh, no, she better do. Mm. And the Emmy goes to... Here, let me help you. Help there me, you baby. Help there me get that. Here, this yeah, this way. Yeah, oh, okay, is. all right. Ooh! Regina King! Really? Say word. Oh my God, okay, so I dropped lipstick on my dress and I was down there trying to get it out because I knew I, wow, okay. Um, mm. I didn't have nothing to say because I wasn't really expecting this, but I am so grateful, Television Academy. Y'all, my friends, my peers, thank you, thank you, thank you. Fox 21, Netflix, Vina sued. Oh my God. Thank you for creating an opportunity to tell a story and hold a mirror up to what's going on today. I am just floored. Russell Hornsby, the incredible cast. Oh my God. Ian, if you are at home, no caps. What? I probably said it wrong. No cap, that's what it's supposed to be. I am, thank you. This is amazing. I wanna curse right now. <laughs> this is good. Thank you, Jesus, Michael Che. And now, here are the nominees for lead actor in a limited series or movie. And I was inspired. Now I'm sad and tired. You won't die, you know. No one dies in here unless I want them to. I can't allow this to destroy your life. I can't allow that. I really wish people would stop telling me to calm down. There are bombs going off around the world. That doesn't make me feel calm. No one can help you. You have to do it on your own. Just as I did. She knew what he was like, and yet she failed to do the one thing that she was obliged to do, to protect her son. To present this acting award, please welcome Rachel Brosnahan and Larry David. Be up 
coffee or with you, Larry? Yeah, yeah, it's nice, it's nice. Very nice, it's lovely, it's lovely. What's wrong? I can't do the banter. I can't. I don't know how to banter. I feel like I'm on a date. I'm all dressed up. I'm nervous. Uh, I got to be on. Yeah, you know, it's not good. Yeah. It kind of feels like we got set up. Right? Yeah. So? Yeah. Mrs. Maisel? Huh? Larry David. How am I doing? And the winner is. Darren Chris. The assassination is to Johnny Versace. Oh my God, you guys are witnessing the most extraordinary moment of my life thus far. So this is pretty cool. Um, uh, I am so very privileged to be in this room among so many people that inspire uh, the living crap out of me, and I'm so honored to be nominated a lot of you guys that I've been a fan of for such a long time. Um, actors are really only as good as the moments they are given, and the moments they are granted, and so I am so profoundly indebted to my friend Ryan Murphy for entrusting me with this opportunity of a lifetime and for believing in me. Um, I hope the people from the show can forgive me. I will thank you later. I need to thank some family. Uh, Ricky. Look where we are, man. Michael, I think you worked harder on this than I did. Uh, Mom, Dad, Chuck, unlike the character I played, I was lucky enough to be raised in a home that was very loving and emphasized the value of hard work, compassion, and not taking yourself too seriously. You are at the root of why I'm here. And to my darling Mia, you, you roll the windows down and pump the music up in my life. And I'm so thankful for you. I'm so lucky to have you. Um, congratulations to all of you. Thank you to the Television Academy. And uh, go blue. Sterling K. Brown, Ron Cephas Jones, Abby Jacobson, and Ilana Glazer. The Emmys on NBC. We are back. First of all, congratulations to Regina King for winning. I just want to remind everybody that Jeff Daniels thanked his horse. <laughs> you know, as a black comedian, for so many years, our TV legends and heroes have gone unrecognized, you know? So this year as host, I took it upon myself to finally right some of those wrongs. I present the Reparations Emmys. Excuse me, Miss Marla Gibbs? Yes? We would like to present to you this Reparations Emmy. Well, your role as Florence the Maid is the reason why I got fired from every service job I've ever had. Well, thank you. I think. Is this the real Emmy? Yes, yeah, the real thing. What do you think? Man, I can't, I cannot believe this. I just got one word for this thing. Well, say it. It is dynamic! <laughs> The Dean Harder said. Matt, what up, Jay? Man, your character as Dwayne Wayne on a different world. I don't think you realize how many young brothers you actually inspired to go to college. Well, I'm glad you went to college, bruh. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, because I went to college. Man, Jaleel, Steve uh -huh. Urkel was the OG black man. I mean, if it wasn't for you, there'd be no Donald Glover. There'd be no Kanye West. There'd be no Obama. Did I do that? Yeah, man, you did that. This is for your amazing work on Martin, on Everybody Hates Chris, and for being pound for pound the best sitcom actress I have ever seen. So the, the Academy just gave this to you? Let's just say I stole it from Bill Cosby. You what? Do you know nobody from The Wire won an Emmy? I know, and Brian Cranston won like six for Breaking Bad. If Brian Cranston got six Emmys? You just Alba should have like ten Emmys. Anybody from The Wire is better than Brian Cranston. You know he only won because he's white. Right? Absolutely. The only reason he won. Absolutely. If he was black, he'd probably bagging groceries at Trader Joe's somewhere. <laughs> 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 Fine. 
Mr. John Witherspoon, I mm -hmm. present to you this Reparations Emmy. That's for your lifetime of work on television. You're a legend, and it's about time you got recognized. Man. I want to enjoy that. 1968, I spy, I spy. No, 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 no. I can't have this in my house. It's Reparation Emmy, it's for you. Reparation is not for Emmy. It's for 40 acres and a mule. I don't have 40 acres and a mule. Well, get me 40 mules and an acre, I'll take that. When we did A Different World, it wasn't really about awards, you know what I mean? It was for the people. If you don't want it? No, no, I'm gonna keep this, oh, for sure. I'll find something to do with this. Good looking out, bro. Who, who are you now? Who are you? I'm Michael Che. I do the news on TV. Like Trevor Noah? You know him? Well, I'm glad you got your Emmy, man. Hey, young fella. Got that funny hat on like you've missed the big shot. You ain't played baseball in your life. Trevor Noah is the man. And now it's time for our next award. Here are the nominees for writing for a variety special. Rich people have it so sweet. They do. They get they to do. create a crisis, solve the crisis, and just keep making money. I love to play venues where if the guy that built the venue could see me on the stage, he would be a little bit bummed about it. Sometimes you're a person with a shrill voice, and there's nothing you can do about it. Gotta keep the races pure. Oh, I hope they don't use that out of context in the promo. That would be really weird. You know, Steve, of all the people that I have a fake show business relationship with, I feel fake closest to you. Aw, oh, buddy. <laughs> to present this writing award, please welcome Abby Jacobson and Yolanda Glazer. We play best friends on TV. But what a lot of people don't know is that in real life, I'm Abby's father. Yeah. Wow. Wow. It's like, okay. What is going on? <laughs> oh. So. Uh -uh. And the Emmy goes to... <laughs> John Mulaney! Thank you very much. Uh, this is incredible. Uh, wow. Uh, I share this uh, award with Michelle Wolf, uh, with uh, Patton Oswalt, with Samantha Bee and her wonderful staff, and with uh, Steve Martin and uh, Martin Steve. Uh, you've, all, you've all made me laugh and many other people laugh so many times, and there is no better feeling than just laughing uncontrollably. So thank you. And I want to thank my wife, uh, who is in New York tonight, uh, she was very busy, and she said to me, I just can't fly across the country to watch you lose. And <laughs> I still think you made the right decision. I want to thank David Miner, Kara Maslin, Michael Berkowitz. I want to thank our director, Alex Timbers, our uh, amazing set designer, uh, Scott Pask. I want to thank uh, everyone that represents me and their assistants who do all the stuff. And... <laughs> There's an old story about when a reporter asked Charlie Chaplin, what's it like to perform comedy that you've written? Uh, but it's not a very good story, so I'm not going to tell it. Thank you very much. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Directing for a Variety Special. Stan Lathan, Dave Chappelle, Equanimity. Michael Bonfiglio, Jerry Seinfeld, Jerry before Seinfeld. Glenn Weiss. The Oscars. Marcus Ray Boy, Steve Martin and Martin Short, an evening you will forget for the rest of your life. Hamish Hamilton, Super Bowl 52 halftime show starring Justin Timberlake. To present this award to one of those five nominees, please welcome Sterling K. Brown and this year's winner for guest actor in a drama series, Ron Cephas Jones. Thank you. Uh, so we realized that since Ron plays my dad on This Is Us, that we would do some uh, dad jokes for you. 
Did you hear about the restaurant on the moon? It's good food, no atmosphere. Mm. Here's another. Uh, Dad, can you put the cat out? Oh, I didn't know it was on fire. <laughs> that one was actually sad. Mm -hmm. We can use that for the show. That's good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, the Emmy for directing for a variety special goes to Glenn Weiss, the Oscars. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, to my daughter, Sydney and Taylor, I, I love you girls more than you will ever know. I want to thank Jen Todd, Mike DeLuca, Rob Payne, Jimmy Kimmel, and everybody at Team Oscar. I want to thank Don Hudson, John Bailey, everybody at the Academy, and all of our friends at ABC. I'm really grateful to be here, uh, but it's bittersweet. Uh, the person most proud at this moment would be my mom, and she passed away just two weeks ago. I, uh, my, part of my heart is broken. I don't think it will ever be repaired, but um, she's in me, and she always will be. Mom always believed in finding the sunshine in things, and she adored my girlfriend, Jan. Jan, you are the sunshine in my life. And Mom was right, don't ever let go of your sunshine. You wonder why I don't like to call you my girlfriend? Because I want to call you my wife. <laughs> yet. I didn't ask yet. <laughs> hey, Mish, I'm going to be a moment. This is the ring that my dad put on my mom's finger 65, 67 years ago. And to my sisters and brothers, I didn't swipe it. Dad knows I have it, okay? <laughs> Jan, I want to put this ring that my mom wore on your finger in front of all these people and in front of my mom and your parents watching from above. Will you marry me? Thank you to the Academy. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Up next, Tina Fey, and later, Taraji P. Hansen, Samantha B., Elizabeth Moss, and the Drama Series Awards. The Emmys, live on NBC. Welcome, Tina Fey. To work in television is a privilege. People invite us into their homes. We babysit their children. We stay home with them when they are sick. And if you let us onto your phone, we will follow you into the bathtub. One of us is always there to say good morning. Some of us show up late and stay until 1 a.m. We try to make you laugh. We challenge your assumptions. We gently deliver bad news. We feel a responsibility to always tell you the truth. So it's understandable that when someone from our favorite show passes away, we feel like we have lost a friend, because we have. Tonight, we celebrate the lives of some people who have been our very good friends.
this is the path to true happiness and wisdom. Good to see you again, my friend. Ask yourself, what do I really want? What is really going to make me happy? Whatever you do, do it for your reasons, not anyone else's. doesn't make any difference what kind of family you come from in this country. You can be anything you want to be. I see. Millions of deals to be made, and we'll make them every day on Let's Make a Deal. This is about change, about people getting a chance to do what they do best. actually here too and I just want to ask her something you trying to eat later or uh, there's so many guys who didn't win with engagement rings in their pockets right now <laughs> all right everyone it is time to check in again with Fred and Maya are you guys ready this time absolutely yep let her rip <laughs> are you ready or are you eating salad I don't know, salad detective. <laughs> well, Colin and I were just wondering, has there ever been a tie at the Emmys? Yeah, you're wearing one. Thank you, good night. <laughs> you good? No. <laughs> Stop asking if we're good. We've already run out of time again. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Right at Maya, everybody. Oh, my God. God. All right, guys, and now, as my grandmother says after her third Chardonnay, it's time for some drama. <laughs> Here are the nominees for supporting actor in a drama series. You are my job. You are the essence of my duty. A dragon 
burnt a thousand wagons. Kyber and Scorpion fired balls bigger than you. They couldn't stop it. And she has three of them. Nothing. Sometimes nothing is the hardest thing to do. You deserve this. And you're not going to let her take any part of it away from you. Russian intelligence operation involving active measures against the President of the United States. All I ask of you is that you follow three simple rules. And you know what? You can't even do that! Now to reveal the winner, please welcome Samantha B. and Taraji P. Henson. What was your favorite drama this year? My favorite drama. Okay, good question, good question. I've been watching this very shocking dystopian drama called The News. I'm on approximately season 9,000. Gets darker and darker, but I can't stop walking. You know, they really need to recast the lead. Okay. I prefer Robin Wright. Anyway, um, don't recommend it. Just watch The Handmaid's Tale instead. It's a lot more fun. Oh, yeah. That show cracked my ass mm -hmm. up. <laughs> yeah, um, and the Emmy for Supporting Actor in a Drama Series goes to... <gasps> Peter Dinklage. Yeah. Really, really, 45, 44, 43. Thank you, Dave and Dan, for changing my life. I cannot walk down the street anymore. <laughs> but you are honestly the most talented, amazing people I know, besides my wife, Erica, who I think I forgot to thank a couple years ago. So thank you, Erica, for putting up with me. I'm very temperamental. I love you very much. Thank you to my brother from another mother, mother Nikolai Acosta Waldo. I love you, and I share this with you, because you are an amazing, handsome brother. And uh, George Martin for creating this darn thing. Thank you. Next, here are the nominees for supporting actress in a drama series. And now you insult me, you. People like you don't get to insult people like me. You get to be eternally grateful. You can't do this. I'm... Miss, sit down. I want to speak to your supervisor. Right? Mention my daughter one more time and I will snap you like a matchstick. You'll just have to be my very good girl. You can do that, can't you? He set up a meeting without your knowledge or consent. Do you think anything of importance happens in this city without me knowing? The future and the future of mankind depends on what we do today! Friends, don't lie! To present the award to one of those nominees, please welcome Elizabeth Moss and this year's winner for guest actress in a drama series, Samira Wiley. The outstanding artists you see behind us gave us some of the season's most riveting and entertaining performances. They show the magic that can happen when a phenomenal performer is matched with the perfect role. Plus, we work with a couple of them, three, actually. The Emmy for Supporting Actress in a Drama Series goes to... <laughs> Tandy Newton. <laughs> I don't even believe in God, but I'm going to thank her tonight. I am so blessed. I am so blessed. Without this, I am even um, To work with the people that I have gotten to work with, uh, the cast and crew of West... I can't believe I'm here. 
the cast and crew of Westworld, I love you all so much. Um, Lisa Joy, Jonah Nolan, home box office. Uh, JJ Abrams, our, our guardian angel. My God, I've got five seconds. My family, my daughter Ripley turns 18 today and I get to guide you and love you and protect you, which is my North Star. I love you so much, baby. Thank you, thank you for this. <laughs> Up next, Lil Rel Howry, Gina Rodriguez, and Anna Gatsby. The Emmys on NBC. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh, congratulations again to Peter Dinklage. Uh, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan, and I'm just I'm so happy that he didn't start his speech, then wait a year and a half to finish it. <laughs> Here are the nominees for writing for a drama series. Bruce Miller, The Handmaid's Tale, June. Joel Fields, Joe Weisberg, The Americans, start. Peter Morgan, The Crown, Mystery Man. David Benioff, D.B. Weiss, Game of Thrones, The Dragon and the Wolf. The Duffer Brothers, Stranger Things, Chapter 9, The Gate. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Killing Eve, Nice Face. To present the Drama Series Writing Award, please welcome Lil Rel Howry and Gina Rodriguez. <laughs> Thomas Edison said, genius is 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. What? I mean, are you saying the nominees are sweaty as hell? I guess the quote did yes, because they're all geniuses. So you're saying they sweaty geniuses? Sure. I mean, you know, they've been sweating like this. They probably yeah, smell pretty real bad. bad. Yeah, yeah. Real bad. The Emmy for writing for a drama series goes to... Ooh. Joel Fields, Joe Weisberg, The Americans. Uh, thank you. Um, every day for six seasons, we got to work with Carrie, Matthew, Noah, all the wonderful actors, writers, directors, an amazing crew who put everything they had into this show. It's the kind of team you wait your whole life to be on. It starts, it starts at the top. John Langraff, our friend, uh, our inspiration, uh, Eric Schreier, Nick Grad. Uh, Jonathan Franklet, Wilson, John Solberg, Lana Kim, the amazing whole team at FX. Bert Salke, Dana Walden, Gary Newman, David Madden, everyone at Fox 21. Mary Ray Thulis and Chris Long, we would have died without you. Daryl Frank, Justin Falvey, Steven Spielberg, Graham Yost. Joe Cohen, there would be no television without you. The television critics who helped keep us on the air, and of course our passionate, die-hard, slightly treasonous fans. Jessica, Dora, Josh, you're here tonight. You're here with me always. I wouldn't do this without you. I couldn't. I love you. Julie and Rosa, thank you for making the last six years worth it. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. It's amazing. And now, here are the nominees for directing for a drama series. Stephen Daldry, The Crown, Pater Familius. Alan Taylor, Game of Thrones, Beyond the Wall. Jeremy Podeswa, Game of Thrones, The Dragon and the Wolf. Kari Skogland, The Handmaid's Tale, After. Jason Bateman, Ozark, The Toll. Daniel Sackheim, Ozark, Tonight We Improvise. The Duffer Brothers, Stranger Things, Chapter 9, The Gate. To present the Drama Series Directing Award, please welcome 
Anna Gatsby. <laughs> this is this is not normal. Um, <laughs> the, the world's gone a bit crazy. Uh, I mean, for somebody like me and uh, a nobody from nowhere gets this sweet gig. Free suit, new boots. Uh, just because I don't like men. <laughs> just. <laughs> That just, that's a joke, of course. Uh, just jokes, fellas, calm down. Um, it's, you know, hashtag not all men, but a lot of them. Um, no, it's just, it is just jokes, but what are jokes these days? We don't know. Nobody, nobody knows what jokes are, especially not men. Um, <laughs> am I right, fellas? That's why I'm presenting alone. There is a winner. <laughs> and the Emmy goes to Stephen Doldry, The Crown. <laughs> and of course, uh, Stephen could not be with us tonight to ex accept the Emmy uh, on, on his own behalf, because uh, probably me. <laughs> um, so I think I just leave now, and that's well done him. <laughs> Next, the Fab Five from, from Queer Eye, Sarah Paulson, and the awards for lead actor and actress in a drama. The Emmys on NBC. Here are the nominees for lead actor in a drama series. If they find out what I am, they'll search my mind. I have to abandon my son. He can't come with us because I got caught. I want my kids to be okay, Mel. I want my family to be okay. Same board, same ghost. Sometimes you get a bunch of cherries, but eventually, inevitably, those ghosts catch up with you. In fact, the satisfying sound of your lover smacking the pavement is the only thing that gets me to sleep every night. I never told anyone about my profile. The only other way she could have known me. Is you. Now to present the award, please welcome the new Fab Five from Queer Eye, Bobby Burke, Karamo Brown, Dan Franks, Anthony Porowski, and Jonathan Van Ness. Ah, I don't know, guys, but it feels like some of these characters could really use our help. Yeah, to the man in black from Westworld, maybe try a funky print or a bold color. And Matthew Reese and the Americans, honey, he's Gorgine. But the wigs, like, can we have a little chat? <laughs> and the guys from This Is Us, they're even too emotional for me. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey Wright from Westworld, uh, your timeline needs to be a bit more organized. Mm -hmm. And Jason Bateman, I'm thinking like a super simple ceviche. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. And the Emmy goes to Matthew Reese. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. That's just like my last birthday. I, um, I will be brief. I've been told to be my entire life. Joe Weisberg, parts like these come along so rarely, and what you created, wrote, and risked, I, I will be forever in your debt. Um, your good self, Gavin O'Connor and Leslie Feldman, not only gave me the, the part and the opportunity of a lifetime, but by default, you also gave me a son. Um, I just hope the little bug is asleep. Um, to all those who gave so much to this incredible journey, Joel Fields, for everything you wrote, said, and brought to this bountiful table, Chris Long, the same. Your mentorship meant everything. Uh, we had a cast and crew that you could only wish for in a fairy tale. Uh, Noah Emmerich, least of all. Um, the great facilitators of this amazing risk, uh, our fearless commander-in-chief at FX, Sir John Landgraf, and his very merry band of men and women. 
uh, uh, John Solberg, uh, Eric Schreier, thank you for getting me to this awards ceremony. Uh, the beautiful brigade that is Amblin Television, uh, Justin Falvey, um, Dal Frank, Steven Spielberg, thank you. Thank you, FX. Thank you, Amblin. Uh, and finally, to the woman who truly got me this award, who just stands in front of me every day and puts up with me. Um, she said, if you propose to me, I'll punch you clean in the mouth. Uh, I don't have the words, I don't have the time, neither of which would do you justice, Kerry Lynn, except thank you, more to come. Thank you. Now, here are the nominees for lead actress in a drama series. That's the thing about unhappiness. All it takes is for something worse to come along, and you realise it was actually happiness after all. I know something happened to you with us. I know you're a psychopath. She is my daughter. I want to see my own daughter. You love to talk. If you really wanted to tell me, you would have done it. I survived you. We survived you. This is evolution. I don't want to play cowboys and Indians anymore, Bernard. I want their world, the world they've denied us. To present lead actress in a drama series, please welcome Sarah Paulson. Simply put, six extraordinary artists, six diverse characters, six opportunities for women to make both a statement and a difference. All are deserving of this incredible honor. The Emmy for lead actress in a drama series goes to Claire Foy, The Crown. This wasn't supposed to happen. Um, all, um, I just felt so proud then of being in the company of such extraordinary performances. And I know everyone's talking at the moment about women in the industry, but if that's anything to go by, bloody hell. And that's technically not swearing. Um, but Sandra Oh, I just love you. Um, listen, um, thank you, Emmys. I had the most extraordinary two and a half years of my life. I'm not going to cry um, on this program. Um, I was given a role that I never thought I would ever get a chance to play. Um, and I met people who I will love forever and ever and ever. Um, and the show goes on, which makes me so, so proud. So I dedicate this to the next cast, the next generation, and I also dedicate this to Matt Smith. Thank you so much. This means so much. Thank you. Before we go to commercial, we just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge all the people in North and South Carolina and Virginia who are just beginning now to recover from Hurricane Florence. If you're watching right now at home, please, during this commercial break, consider going online and donating or texting Give Florence to 41411 to support the American Red Cross Direct Relief and Team Rubicon. These charities have helped so much to rebuild in Houston and in Puerto Rico, and they are ready to help in the Carolinas and Virginia now. Thank you very much. Coming up, the Outstanding Series Awards, plus Dave Chappelle and an appearance by Rick and Morty, and later, Will Ferrell. The Emmys, live on NBC. Welcome the chairman of the Television Academy, Hema Washington. Good evening. It is an honor to be here as we celebrate our 70th anniversary. You know, try to imagine being at those first Emmys in 1949. Think about those early days of television. Now look around you and think about who we are honoring tonight. We are more diverse, more inclusive, and more committed to, than ever to telling stories that represent all of us in 2018. Let's give ourselves a hand.
But to truly appreciate how far we've come, we can never forget our history and the Emmy moments that mattered along the way. For the very first time, our Emmy Awards presentation is being nationally televised. Take an image and literally hurl it 3,000 miles amazing. across a continent. Through the years, I've seen television become part of the fabric of our society. I've had fun in this business. It's been marvelous. We're awful proud to be a part of this industry. Really, we are. Thank you for the Television Academy. You know, every year, the Television Academy Foundation provides opportunities to dozens of people across the country from all different backgrounds and walks of life. Now, technically, we call them interns. We call them the, but we like to call them like the future of television, for they are the generation who will be driving television's excellence for years to come. Please welcome some of these extraordinary young people, several of whom are serving as trophy presenters tonight. And now, here is the entire class of 2018. Thank you for being part of tonight's celebration. Do it up one more time for the chairman of the academy, please. Yeah, Hema. During tonight's awards, we are happy to have the accountants from Ernst & Young keeping all the envelopes safe until the winners are announced. Here with more info on the accountants, and I'm against this, is Fred and Maya. Okay. Yes, uh, this is them. Paul? The, the, oh, the accountants. Yeah. Paul Chan, Suzanne DeYoung, and Andy Sale. Fred, cheese. There you go. Thank you. Uh, I have a question. Um, how much money does a person need? Someone who's like 5'10", and I just eat small meals, you know, a lot of them. I don't really drink soda. I don't know if that counts. And how about cash? Like, if you write a different number on the cash, does it become that amount? And I have an idea for an app. Um, you push it, and money shoots out of your phone. Ooh. How would that work? Once again, out of time. Oh, no! Fred and Maya, everybody. Up next, Dave Chappelle with the award for Variety Sketch Series. Plus, Rick and Morty present Reality Competition Series. The Emmys on NBC. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Reality Competition Program. I could feel the legs go bleh, bleh. It was like the Terminator was on my chest. Can your grandpa do that? I no, my grandpa can't do that. He's trying to be ironic or something? It's like counter-cultural. I think you're giving him too much credit. All of these girls in here said that you have, at some point, got on their nerves. I didn't say, I that. Didn't say that. This is the perfect way to serve Carrie's upside-down cake. Right side is the best way to serve her upside-down cake. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben McIntyre, I was obsessed with her when I was that a little kid. That is so and... weird! Because she's my mother-in-law! I'm just saying! To present the award for Outstanding Reality Competition Program, here are... Rick and Morty. Thank you very much. Nobody knows reality more than us because nobody's been to more realities. Right, Rick? Sorry, Morty, I'm doing it. I'm going off prompter. Oh, God, you promised. You guys want an award for reality? Here's a reality about your award. This is a living Emmy. You're looking at it before its feet are mounted to a wooden base and its wrist bound to a weighted sphere that holds its body in a celebratory pose while it's dipped into molten gold. It's an herbivore, it mates for life, and it's capable of complex emotions. How do you think Atlanta will do tonight, little fella? Rick, you're ruining the night. Oh, he says he is rooting for Atlanta because smaller crews mean fewer of his offspring die. Y you know, that is a complex emotion. Can we present the damn award? Everyone that takes one of these home is a monster. And the winner is RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> Yep. 
accepting the Emmy is RuPaul. Wow. Thank you so much. This is so lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you to the Academy. This is so lovely. We are so happy to present this show. I would like to thank, on behalf of the 140 drag queens we have released into the wild, I'd love to thank Dick Richards for introducing me to Randy Barbado and Fenton Bailey, Tom Campbell, Tim Palazzola, and uh, Pam Post, and Stephen Koroff, and Mandy Selang saying, Theron's mothers, uh, Joelle Hawks, and all of the dreamers out there. Listen, you, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Can I get an amen up in here? Now let the music play! The next award is for Outstanding Variety Sketch Series. You know my dog, Mary? She loves running. She loves getting her belly tickled. She loves a T-R-E... Oh, she's not here. A treat. Living with the feeling that I'll never be able to leave. Can we get rid of these guys? Uh, we had the option between body cameras and podcasters. You want to do your business, do you? Well, let's make sure we do it properly, shall we? Pop it in a bag, and then one, two, three. I'm supposed to do 25 more talk show appearances today, and I'm trying to make it like an advent calendar, you know, where I reveal one new crime on each show. Ah, uh, money six. This is a... Uh, uh, no, wait, no, he was telling me, like, ah, uh, still, it is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> To reveal the winner, please welcome the creators of The Chappelle Show, Dave Chappelle and Neil Brennan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a beautiful business. We make millions of dollars. And we get trophies from time to time. But let's be honest, everyone in this room has emotional wounds that no amount of money or prizes could ever fix. <laughs> Shout out to therapy and medication. <laughs> yes. Here's to that Emmy-sized hole in your soul. Oh, and fun. the winner is. No. All right. All right. It's just rated, man. I'm like. <laughs> Saturday Night Live. Accepting the Emmy is Lauren Michaels. Uh, I'm working on, on this show over the last uh, month or so. When you're urging everyone to talk for a very short time, it would be wrong for me to talk at length. So let me just say I love my job and I love the people I work with. And that in 1975, when we started, there were a lot of articles for most of that decade about how the networks wouldn't be here much longer. And here we are, it's 2018, and we're the Emmys and we're on NBC. Thanks. Up next, Connie Britton and Eric Bana present Variety Talk Series. Then later, Ben Stiller, Benicio Del Toro, and Patricia Arquette. The Emmys on NBC. Here are the nominees for Outstanding Variety Talk Series. The Late Late Show with James Corden. Full Frontal with Samantha Bee. Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, Jimmy Kimmel Live, The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. To present the award, here are Eric Bana and Connie Britton. Whoa. 
Yeah. <laughs> Every week, the nominees in this category do the impossible. They make the news funny. And the Emmy for Outstanding Variety Talk Series goes to... Last, Last week, week tonight, tonight with John, John Oliver. Oliver. Accepting the Emmy is John Oliver. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you. All, all the shows every year, we fly our staff here and we put them in the worst seats in the building to send a mixed message. Uh, so uh, thank you to our staff. We're incredibly proud of you. Um, thank you. On behalf of everyone in this room, I'd like to thank Glenn Weiss, his fiance, for saying yes. This could have been a very different evening. Uh, it was, you really came through. Uh, uh, we'd like to thank HBO, uh, Plepler, Casey, especially Nina, for their constant support. They've been incredible. Whether we want to do a story about trade policy or buy Russell Crowe's jockstrap. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Liz Stanton and Tim Carvel, who are the backbone of the show. My wife, Kate, is my personal backbone. Uh, I love you very much. And our children, uh, Grayson, Ella, Emmett, uh, Hudson, and Marlo, uh, we love you very much. My, my son, two and a half year old, he hates our show. He likes Paw Patrol. And if our show is anything, it's the precise opposite of Paw Patrol. Uh, thank you very much. Good night. And now, here are the nominees for Outstanding Limited Series. These boys ain't gonna blame you, I get dealt out. I've seen my death. This ain't it. If I'm correct, your men will be ill-equipped to fathom the motives of a perpetrator with an impulse to butcher young boys. My inner life, Johnny, is an endless reel of decapitations and dogs fighting over the liver that I quite like back, thank you very much. Here, there is only Picasso. So then, you did this. No, you did. Being here, like this, with you, it feels like destiny. To present the award for Outstanding Limited Series, please welcome Patricia Arquette, Benicio Del Toro, and Ben Stiller. As actors, we are constantly challenging ourselves. We're exploring new characters, new terrain, and new experiences. And we kill, and we will kill again. What was that? I said new experiences just like Patricia said. Oh. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> and the Emmy for Outstanding Limited Series goes to a living person and group of people. The assassination of Gianni Versace, American Pie. Accepting the Emmy is Ryan Murphy. Thank you so much. Um, thank you to the Academy. None of us would be here without the brilliant writing of Tom Rob Smith, who wrote every one of our episodes. Thank you, Tom. Thank you to Alexis, to Brad Simpson, to Nina Jacobson, to Dana Walden, Gary Newman, John Langraff, Peter Rice. Um, the assassination of Gianni Versace is about a lot of things. It's about homophobia, internalized and externalized. It's about a country that allows hatred to grow unfettered and unchecked. 
One out of every four LGBTQ people in this country will be the victim of a hate crime. We dedicate this award to them. We dedicate this award to awareness, to stricter hate crime laws. And mostly, this is for the memory of Jeff and David and Gianni, and for all of those taken too soon. Thank you very much. Up next, Will Ferrell presents Outstanding Comedy Series. And later, Kenan Thompson will reveal which drama series will take home the gold. The Emmys on NBC. And now, here are the nominees for Outstanding Comedy Series. What flavor is a flaming Hot Cheeto? Oh. You want to do a scene with me? Yeah, well, everyone else had something, so. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What, what's the scene? Sorry, no rent for jailbirds. That's right, justice. <laughs> to make him wait another 10 minutes for a few measly potatoes? Am I to wait all day? Where is the manager of this establishment? I'm extremely white over here. Oh, you stupid American swine! Ah! And big finish, one cup of breakfast. When I agreed to send you to that fancy Goetia college, what was the one thing I told you? They'll have terrible deli. The important thing I told you. That was about deli, too. The other important thing I told you. Look at the last guy to create a new internet, Al Gore. His ideas were excellent, but he talked like a narcoleptic plantation owner, so he lost the presidency to a fake cowboy, and now he makes apocalypse porn. To present the award for Outstanding Comedy Series, here is Will Ferrell. Sorry, the, the walk was so long. It's just endless. It looks much smaller on television, but uh, it's, it's about a thousand yards. And these were, these were not the shoes to do it in either. <laughs> I just need a minute to uh, collect myself. And, uh, my credential. Did I bring my I have my credential. Okay. I have my credential. This allows me an R, C, F, M, B, K, and P, C. So. The 70th Emmys. And the Emmy for Outstanding Comedy Series goes to the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Accepting the Emmy is Daniel Palladino. had something memorized and it all dumped out. Uh, thank you to the Academy and to all the viewers who watch, uh, to our agents of CIA, Joe Cohen, Brian Sibrel, and to Jeannie Newman, who guide us in our careers. Uh, Amy and I would also like to thank our crew, Donna Zakowska, Bill Groom. You guys turn uh, modern day New York into 1958 New York, and it's amazing the job you do. Uh, to our families watching at home, particularly our mothers, Maven Sherman and Ginger Palladino, and guys, they are available. Um, also, to, um, to everyone at Amazon, it's been a really great ride. You guys have been nothing but supportive from the very, very beginning. Thank you so much for that. And to our cast, who 
bite into our 80-page scripts every week. We just wrapped a day and a half ago, season two, and we already miss working with you guys. We look forward to season three. Thank you so much from all of us. Again, thank you to the viewers. Thank you. When we come back, Kenan Thompson presents Outstanding Drama Series, The Emmys, on NBC. And now, here are the nominees for Outstanding Drama Series. Stan, we're not lying on the ground, not while you have that gun pointing at us. This is pain, stop. Stan. Stop, Elizabeth, just stop. As queen, you cannot be seen to be engaging in the dirty business of politics. Yes, but as head of the Commonwealth, can I not be permitted just once to defend it? Go! Go! No! No! You shall feel the pain of his judgment, for that is his love. Grow the hell up! <laughs> It's not a place, it's a weapon, and I'm going to use it to destroy them. To present the award for Outstanding Drama Series, here is Keenan Thompson. Wow, what a night it has been. Great night for Henry Winkler. So proud of you, sir. So proud of you. like he needs me to be proud of him. All right. <laughs> We've got one more award to go. The Emmy for Outstanding Drama Series goes to... Game of Thrones. Accepting the Emmy is T.B. Weiss. Writing for these actors behind us is, is the honor of a lifetime, but we didn't invent these characters. That was George R. R. Martin. We could not have, the show could not be without the mad genius of George. Thank you for letting us take care of your, your people. Uh, HBO, there's no better place to work. Thank you, Richard Plepler. You said yes to us 10 years ago, and that's the only reason we're, we're standing up here now. Uh, thank you to everyone else at HBO. Um, go. And uh, a show is only as good as the people who make it. And uh, we are blessed and lucky to have the greatest cast, the greatest crew led by, and the greatest team of producers led by the inimitable Bernie Caulfield. This is the woman who actually makes the show. The rest of us, the rest of us order lunch. Um, and it's, it is an honor to work with them from Spain to Iceland, all the way to our home base of Belfast, Northern Ireland. Here's to you, Belfast. Best it's been an, in the world. It's been an honor. Amanda, Pete, I love you so much. Uh, Frankie, Molly, and Henry, I love you all. Andrea, Leo, Hugo, I love you very much. We love all of you guys. All right, guys. Well, that is the end of our show tonight. Thank you so much for having us. Uh, please give it up for Lenny Pickett and the Saturday Night Band. And we apologize, the show ran long. Our apologies to all the presenters we did not get to tonight. Beyonce, Bill Clinton. Oprah Winfrey, Colin Kaepernick. Kyle Mooney, the dog from Frasier. Michael B. Jordan, Scotty B. Pippen. Jay Leno's Garage, Craig Billborn's Crawl Space. Stay tuned for Showtime at the Apollo. Good night!
cardiac surgical department, please raise your hands. You're all fired. Any department who places billing above care will be terminated. Oh, I am serious. New Amsterdam was based on a book called 12 Patients, Life and Death at Bellevue by Eric Manheimer, who was the medical director at Bellevue. I love medicine every day. You get access to talking to people and hearing about their life stories. So for me, this is all about the patients. You do know the whole system's rigged, but they're not going to let you come in here and just help people. So let's help as many as we can before they figure us out. The irony is that as an actor, I get to play him and get to take all the credit for looking like a hero and a good guy. If you can't help Gemma as a doctor, then just help her as a human being. Am I allowed to do that? You are now. Want to make it real? And Eric has so many stories and so many experiences, incredibly valuable. When I hired you, I thought that you would be grateful. I am grateful. I thought that you would be compliant. I'm not compliant. New Amsterdam premieres next Tuesday after This Is Us on NBC. Stick around later for Jimmy Fallon as Reese Witherspoon drops by tonight.